Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll transfer you now. Call transferring has come to Google Voice. Hey, what is up guys? This week I wanted to talk about three new exciting features that are, have launched or are launching soon within Google Voice. The first one I wanted to talk about is actually the ability to access Google Voice within your Gmail account. So I've got my Gmail account open here. And as you can see along the left hand or right hand, sorry, sidebar, uh, as well as Google Calendar and things like that, I now have Google Voice as an option. I can see um, my Google Voice calls. I can actually make changes to the headset and things like that that I'm using. And I can open Google Voice in a new tab. That allows me to uh, easily access my Google Voice. And also if calls come in that I can answer them directly within there, which is fantastic. The second feature that's launching is call transferring, as I mentioned at the start of the video. And call transferring is something that we've been waiting on for quite some time. And it's a feature that we kind of felt was lacking within Google Voice and meant that we couldn't really push it out in terms of usability for a lot of organizations. You know, call transferring is kind of a requirement. If you have a receptionist or you have um, someone else within a team answering a call, most people need the ability to be able to transfer a call to someone else. So now the call transferring is launched on the web um, and on mobile devices, and I'll demonstrate that now. I have a little test set up here with my traditional phone. Uh, I'm gonna call my, my Google Voice number, uh, and it's gonna, it's gonna ring here on my mobile device. And you'll see when the call comes in that I will be able to answer it. And it's also coming in, by the way, on uh, Google Voice on my desktop. So I'll be able to answer it. And I now have a little call transfer button on my phone. And when I click it, I have the ability now to transfer the call uh, to somebody else, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna end that call there. Um, and this, is, this feature, as I said, is going to be launching uh, on the web as well. I don't currently have it on my one, uh, but it's rolling out at the minute, so I would expect to be, to be able to see that in the next few days. It's already on mobile for myself anyway, so you may see it on mobile devices too. Now, the third feature that I wanted to talk about is not quite released, but the beta is available at the moment, and that's Ring Groups. Now, Ring Groups, uh, some of you may know them in other solutions as Hunt Groups, where the number will hunt around for the uh, most available or next available person. Um, these can be set up in two different ways. You can have it call simultaneously uh, on all of the users within the ring group, or you can have it do what's called a round robin, which is where it moves to the next available person. Uh, in Google, it's kind of random. I don't really like the random uh, feature. If you had maybe a support team, I could imagine uh, it would work quite well. If the person doesn't answer it or they're busy, then it moves on to the next one. Uh, and you can decide how long it will attempt to make a connection with an individual, how many seconds. So I actually have um, ring group set up within the control panel. So I thought it might be a good idea just to show you guys uh, uh, how it works. I'm, as I said, we're in the beta, so you can see it here on ours. Um, if I go to create a ring group, I have to give it a name. Now, whatever the display name is that you put in, that's what actually appears on the mobile device. So when I call that particular number, um, that's what appears on the phone. And so that is kind of important. So for example, I had set up the Irish number there. So if I do UK uh, landline, then when um, someone receives a call within the ring group, it will come up with UK landline. So I might want it to say Dams and UK landline. So people will know that this is a call coming in for the UK uh, Dams and landline. I can have a description if I want, that's optional. I then have to select users. So I do need to at least select one user. Um, so for this one, I'll just select myself and Donald. Um, and then I'm gonna hit continue. And now I can decide whether I want a round robin or whether I want a simultaneous calling. For me, as I said, the round robin doesn't really work. So I would go with simultaneous calling, but you can see if I select a round robin, I can decide whether I want it to have five seconds uh, or up to 15 seconds that it will attempt uh, to make a connection with uh, that person. Now, the other thing that you need to select is what happens when a call goes unanswered? So if nobody answers the call, what happens next? If all of your team are busy, does it go to voicemail? Um, does it continue ringing uh, for a period of time? 
or does it play a message and then disconnect or does it forward the call on to maybe some other answering service that you have set up so for us i would go with a voicemail because that makes the most sense and um, you can type in the actual voicemail greeting here so as you're probably aware with google you don't actually have to pre-record any sort of messages uh, to say hi you're through jams and cloud or whatever you can just type it in here so i can just say thanks for calling what if i got the spelling right for calling dams and cloud uh, please leave a message after the tone all our team are busy at the moment okay and then i can decide what sort of language i want you to be in so english uk or states or whatever your other languages might be uh, and, and the voicemail, whether I wanted to go to all people in the ring group or whether I just want to select maybe that, that messages only go to, to one or two people. So then I create my ring group uh, and then once my ring group is created, I just need to assign a number to it. So now I need to assign the number and I can either assign it from a bank of numbers that I already have um, or I can select a different region and I can actually sort of add it to my account and purchase uh, a number so I can add UK I need to put in a service address and then that would allow me to select the number so that's it that allows you to create ring groups in Google and as I said in Google Voice and as I said this is in beta at the moment um, I can ex or we can expect that this will be launching at some stage in, in uh, 2020 I would imagine fairly soon as I said the other ones called transferring um, and the availability of Google Voice within your Gmail are already available uh, and I think that these sort of three features and particularly the last two call transfers and ring groups they really allow everyone uh, to start using Google Voice now and as I said previously for ourselves we've kind of felt that these were the features that were missing in order for most of our customers to be able to adopt it. Uh, I think call transferring and ring groups definitely are something people would expect to see uh, in sort of a, a business uh, telephony solution. So I'd be interested to know what you guys think of these updates and also do you feel that there's anything currently missing from Google Voice and if so what are they? Maybe you could let us know in the comments below. That's it for me, I hope you enjoyed this week's update. I will chat to you guys next week.